be real and 100% with this video because I don't like what's going on. Um, there's a lot of weird shit, a lot of manipulation in the astral plane that's going on with me that I want to go ahead and talk about. Um, some very evil parasitic entities um, that I'm being attacked by, including, I'm just going to say his real name is Billy B.A. He runs with Balamos which is a Spanish word for a dancing. Enrique Iglesias did a video about it years ago. And I actually know the real name of Baron Samity, his real name while he was alive. And I'm just gonna say it like this, I'm being manipulated by some very evil parasitic entities. If anybody wants to know what his real name was while he was alive, because this is some really fucked up shit and I'm just gonna put everything out there on the table. I'm not going to deliver an agenda or which I'm going to call a message. I pride myself on just telling the truth and the whole truth. I've been getting manipulated by, you know, in some cases, some misguided spirit, spirit guides in some cases, as well as entity attachments. Uh, my eyes look like this through the possession. They've been fucking with um, a really nice spirit guy who's been helping me along the way to the point of removing her consciousness and every fucking thing. Um, I know I sound schizophrenic. Trust me, I'm not. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I can drink with this shit. But due to possession, I don't even want to say possession, but having... Being, I'm just going to say it like this, being heavily energy harvested. And what I've seen in the astral plane is atrocious with what's happening to me. Um, again, I'm going to sound like one of them nutcases that you see posted on the street who will talk about this celebrity knows me and they steal it from me, this and that. But I've been shown by my spirit guides, as well as my higher, the higher selves in the spirit plane that. I'm going back and forth and wobbling all over the place that um, who I've been sacrificed to as part of the sacrifice curse. I mean, the whole fucking soul contract that they have over me and my higher to higher selves is just fucking illegal on the face of it. I'm being fucked with by entity attachments right now as I talk. Um, I got a Madonna Cicione, which is Madonna. A lot of people know who she is. Um, a Zendaya. It's supposed to be going back to a timeline where, you know, and I actually was shown it as well, died in my sleep on August 22nd, 2022. I got taken out of my body and every fucking thing. This is just, this is, I, I want to fucking cry. I, I just want to fucking cry about everything that's fucking going on because I'm just being spun into a quagmire to my own fucking head. But it's having real life implications with what's happening to me in the spirit plane and its physical implications on me in, in the physical. And in, in the, you know, from what I understand, due to a, it's a long story, but due to a, a you know, these motherfuckers, they went over there, this Alex Nascimento entity attachment, which is associated with this guy. Who I encountered years ago, his name is Applewhite or something. Um, it's just atrocious what's fucking happening. Um, these motherfuckers want to, out of, it's not just jealousy, there's something else, it's, it's some evil. Out uh, the pure fucking jealousy from what I'm feeling, it's a bunch of fucking uh, wet bags. Um, and a uh, cracker that's involved by the name of Ingrid Hyver, her higher, the higher self. And I know I sound all over the place, but anyways, from what I'm understanding, I got sacrificed to these celebrities. I got a Zendaya in her highest, the higher self, uh, Madonna's higher self. Zendaya's higher self is uh, Jessica Ilhissa. Um, again, it's a long fucking story from what I understand. Part of my spiritual legacy is to become the next Hecate. And her Jessica Ilhissa, which is under Hecate, is trying to steal that from me. If you see El Hissa, that's Hecate in the spirit plane. 
I'm just going to speak my piece. They're, they're removing parts of my consciousness right now as I talk. Um, you know, I, this is a fucking shame. I'm a shell of my fucking self. I used to pride my, my, my eyes are getting sunken and sunken deeper ever, every second. But anyways, it's like the minute I say something, they can see what I'm doing in the spirit plane or what I'm thinking and they act on it ferociously and go and attack. With that being said, there was a Tim Burton that's involved who was placed in charge of my consciousness in the astral plane. He stole a good bit of that. They're going to do something. They're doing something right now. These entities is something that's doing something to fuck with me and fuck with. Like if I say something, they'll act on it. Um, there's also a, uh, not just an ally, uh, it's, uh, Isaac Mizrahi, and he put like a leprechaun-like entity on me, entity attachment. From what I understand, these people put the roach attachments of these people in their highest selves. The people who put this on me put roach attachments. That's what I'm going to talk about in the video. That's designed to energy harvest. And then eventually, like what I believe happened, just like on August 22nd, 2022, um... You know, I was shown I got taken out of my body by an Alex now see me into a roach attachment of an ancestor of this person, out of me or this person. I believe more this person now that I know. They're, they're going to manipulate me and fuck with me for telling the truth. And I just heard the screams of my spirit guy right now, man. It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy what I'm experiencing. That's why I need a lot of fucking spiritual help, um... And they'll fuck with my consciousness the way it's fucking frayed. And it, it's a long story. But anyways, um, there was a uh, girl from Destrehan, Louisiana, who replaced me in my body in the original timeline. They, they're fucking with my consciousness right now. Your timelines and all of that are in your consciousness. Uh, Veronica Terrer. Or Ashley Hampstead, she also goes by, I think, Veronica Gilgley. And I also got like a Veronica De La Torre, a De La Rosa or something. Anyways, I got taken out of my body. And, you know, all of my, you know, like when I'm energy harvested from what I'm seeing, from what I saw, all of my consciousness, everything, my blessings are being funneled to this person in this timeline where I died in my sleep on August 22nd, 2022. And they made the same thing happen to my family. They killed my mother and my father, and I was shown proof of it from my spirit guide, my lone spirit guide who's been helping me out a lot, a chair of face baby, along with my higher to higher selves. You know, I was shown that it's a long fucking story, man. But the reason why I brought this up is because I wanted to talk about Usher. Now, I heard in the spirit world last night, and I'm going to say it like this. I don't believe that I'm alive <laughs> from what I'm being shown, from what I felt. I got taken out of my body and killed in my sleep. Going four weeks ago, um, I mean, this, this, this the entities that's involved in this, Billy B.A., which is Baron Samity's uh, real name. I actually talked about it on my blog, and I might just repost it, as well as his other real name. There was a, uh, kind of reminds me of, uh, think of the transgender actress who was in that Juno movie. I believe that's his real name. I've been told that the people who put this curse on me, they don't act on anything unless they see it, unless they are told to act on it. So it's not even like a normal fucking curse. I believe I'm being manipulated on so many fucking ends right now that... Docs entities and 
I'm just going to go ahead and say it. The people put this curse on me from what I'm understanding. I even tried helping Bear and Samity out in the spirit world. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to get the gist of it so I could tell the truth and not just speak a narrative from their perspective. That's why I'm very careful. He was told by them that he'll get, they'll get him his shit back. But because I already dropped his docs a while back, they extorted him and told him that they have to work under him, that they, he has to work under them for him to be able to get his ancestral money. He stole a lot of my ancestral money. You know, I'm just going to say it like this. When him and his highest self, whose first name is Don, came in and started fucking with me and my spirit guides, I actually released his uh, highest self's real name a while back. Uh, years ago, when he started, came into my abode, my body, mine, came around me and my ancestors and started fucking with him. You know, I believe he's instrumental to a lot of this. He had them sign a soul contract to sell me out as a sacrifice or something. From what I'm understanding, that's an evil motherfucker. I need to just drop his dots and get him eliminated from the spirit world quick and permanently. And I'm really, really thinking about it. I'm just going to go ahead and say this at the beginning of the curse. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my thoughts collected because right now they're doing something where they're fucking with my consciousness to where I can't speak my piece. But going back a while back, Billy B.A. B.A.I. Bear Insanity You know, they have him cultivating a lot of my child consciousness and giving it to their asses and stealing a lot from me. Um, I wanted to say he took a lot of my ancestral money and he did that recently. And ancestral money is crucial to you staying alive. You know, these motherfuckers out of jealousy, they'll tell their roach attachments, which they got attached to me, like Alex Nascimento and all of that. Well, like they had. Hopefully I'm totally free of it. That if I say something, including the truth, because they're jealous of the fact that I speak a lot of truths in my videos about things, I don't hold back to attack me. So it's to intimidate me from speaking the truth. For instance, the truth about reality, the fabric of reality. I'm going to say through the course of the curse that I'm under, you know, I, what I've seen, what I've felt, what, I've, what I saw with my own eyes, in the astral plane is a lot like the matrix. We have body suits that we fit in in the astral plane, but anyways, without meandering too much on that, because there's so much that's involved. I'm also go ahead and say this. Um, if Baron Samity fucks with you, use quinine on them. There's also a frequency, I believe it's 54, 97 hertz. Like I say, I'm thinking about dropping his docs the more I think about it and just letting the chips fall where they may because he's not an innocent victim. Like I'm going to say it right now, his real self was actually stuck in a hell realm that was filled with entities, uh, people who were living furniture. It kind of reminds me of what Richard Shaver would talk about. But anyways, in his... Uh, he had a book collection called um, Richard Shaver. And I'm going to go ahead and say it like this. They have a lot of you gods stuck in hell realms. The process of becoming a god is some, it's some of the most evil ass nefarious fucking shit. I'm just going to drop it. With that being said, the reason why I brought that up is because aside from setting the tone for me to be stuck under curses for the rest of my fucking life, which I didn't ask for, 
I saw in the Astro plane that one of his entity attachments wanted to set the tone up for me to be able to escape the curse. Um, this is some evil ass fucking shit that I'm dealing with. It, it's like they open up your consciousness. They put fissures in your consciousness, create it to where you can be literally attacked physically by entities from the astral plane. And I'm being fucked with right now, you know, in terms of my memories and my knowledge and all of that by this evil ass malicious sinister ass shit. I'm really, I'm a... I really want to put out the docs of uh, Billy B.A.I. And I did before. Baron Samity's real name. His real name is Elliot Mitchell. Or Billy Baye. I'm being manipulated bad by this. This is some evil ass shit. That evil ass fucking, I'm just going to call it for what it is right now, man. Because he's trying to fucking fuck with my memories and make me sound really fucking schizophrenic. Um, just like him and that entity, Don. I know his full name. He's actually uh, kind of reminds me of... Uh, that guy who's in, um, who sung that song, Internet Money. Not Nav, but the other one. Don Tolliver. That's his higher self. Very insanity's higher self. That being said, You know, I'm, I'm just going to say it like this. I didn't want to drop them docs, but that motherfucker set up the, um, he set up the course for me to drop them docs. I, I hate this shit because I used to be such a free spirit and I used to be free about information. I can't anymore because of this evil, sinister shit I got attached to me. And I just heard uh, Ingrid Heiberg, you know, I'm going to say it right now, you know, I woke up in the early hours of um, about 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. And me and a spirit guide of mine actually witnessed her highest self fucking with my shit. I noticed that my appearance looks very, very different, looks very disheveled and fucked up even more so. They can fuck with people's perception of you. But anyways, with that being said, I saw her hire the higher selves, roach attachments of them. You know, I got another group of people that's involved. The Benavidez is, this is them. Higher selves is involved. Now, anyways, the reason behind why I brought up Baron Samity is because now I'm being told the minute I mention the name of one of them. They're going to act on it and fuck with my child consciousness. So I'm being manipulated by some really evil parasitic spirits. And they're going to fuck with it. And that if I don't reveal Baron Samity's name, I'm going to be under tight, heavy curses from him. You know, again, these people I'm dealing with who put this shit on me, they're corporate. Ingrid Hybert. A Benavidez and all of that, you know, from this, like I say, this long story, but from what I saw, they were working. He was working in tandem with these fucking people to fuck with me and 
fuck up my shit. Um, now from what I understand, it was actually a guy who attached himself to it, playing a part of him. And he was fleecing me in my consciousness and every fucking thing. And so after I dropped his docs before, you know, on previous videos, I dropped his docs. And these people, you know, from what I understand, they did something to my YouTube channel. They got people who work at YouTube who, and I sensed it before. You know, I used to have my videos mysteriously taken off. From what I understand, it's a bunch of witches that live in a house in Malibu or Pacific Palisades. I believe Malibu in a mansion. And they do witchcraft for the CIA and they put roach attachments in you to fuck you up. Them people you saw, I believe that they're part of it. Based on what I've seen in the astral plane and based on just connecting the dots. It's some really sick, evil, nefarious shit. I'm also getting the sense that the um, Church of the Rose or something, the Psychic Institute, here's a picture of two of the people who run it. And this shit. Now, the reason behind why I'm fucking babbling and babbling on is because going back, the reason why I brought up Billy, his real first name is Billy, when he was alive, Fair insanity is because, from what I understand, he put an entity by the name of Alex Nascimento. I'm trying to get the skinny on that and clarify that. He put him in my head, in my consciousness, as an entity attachment. They try to intimidate me into not talking about that by talking about we're going to manipulate that entity attachment. The the entities that work with this people manipulate me. With that being said, so I don't get any real help and I don't give you a clear picture of what's going on. With that being said, it's an entity, just like from what I've heard about Don Tolliver, Baron Sam of these highest self. who goes around fucking with who goes around fucking with people fucking up their consciousness and basically putting you into hell rounds. there was a young Mexican woman who I saw, who was being trailed by a group of, I saw a group of white kids who I've seen before in the Astro Plane rescuing my brother, Brian, here. And, uh-uh, 
I'm, I'm having fucking entity attachments pulling shit out of my leg due to my connection to these evil ass people. Do their roach attachments, this shit gotta fucking stop. Anyways, with that being said, these people, from what I understand, okay, I'm, let, let me, because they're fucking with my consciousness, they were fucking with my memories even just now. Um, Billy B.A. Baron Samity and uh, himself, more than likely, that's an evil motherfucker. I felt him leave too when I mentioned Don Tolliver, his highest self's real name. So, I mean, it, some, some ain't right going on. Some going on. And it felt a lot better. Now I feel him coming back and I'm going to have to get rid of this evil shit. But anyways, to make a long story short, I saw them put that poor girl in the hell realm. And while under the curse, despite me being under the curse, I actually pulled her out of that hell realm. With that being said, from what I'm understanding, I believe it could be the San Templo Indio shop on Pico Boulevard. Um, it could be... Anyways, with that being said... I lost, I'm just going to say it like this, I had that entity attachment placed on me by the guy who works there. I actually saw a spirit guy who looks a lot like him, so I'm not sure what to think about him, who I think is connected to um, this Aztec guy here, Hakapoko or whatever the fuck his name is. He comes from Benares. A lot of their, I'm going to say it right now, the Mexicans, a lot of their gods actually come from Benares and they're actually evil fucking spirits. I'm just telling you the truth. You can shame me for all the other fucking shit that I'm wearing, you, but I'm telling you the truth from what I've learned. They come from Benares. And them motherfuckers vibrate from what I understand at the same level of the sacral chakra, which is why a lot of them are very raucous. A lot of them are drunkards, do a lot of stupid shit, um, hard workers, but not really that smart. But very, very spiritually powerful. I'll give him that because of Quetzalcoatl. And he's actually under Hecate. And that's a long story. You know, getting back to the whole thing with Zendaya, you know, through the course of this curse, I'm, I'm going to talk about it later on. I actually found out that I'm supposed to be her successor, her next of kin. And she's been trying to steal that shit from me and trying to keep me through entity attachment manipulation, roach attachment manipulation to keep that under wraps. I'm not going to keep that shit under wraps. Like I say, what I'm dealing with is highly textured. There's a lot of shit that's involved and I don't like it. But anyways, in the astral plane, it's not a put down, it's just telling the truth. They vibrate at the same frequency as the sacral chakra, 4200. Black people ain't that far behind. From what I'm understanding, white people vibrate at 6,000 hertz, which immunes you, thankfully, from the spirit world. Anytime you see six, that means material, material realm. So that puts you more in the category of the physical, the corporal. You want to stay there because when you start fucking around with the spirit world, it ain't no joke. But that's why a lot of them are like big time drunkards. That's why a lot of them are like involved in, I hate to say it, carnal shit like rape, you know, hypersexuality. You know, I'll see them, like, for instance, I've, I've been wearing this out here in South Central, namely because I don't like the fact 
that they assume that every fucking black woman that they see is a walking bed mattress. I don't play that shit. I be calling them wet back and every fucking thing else. Get back, wet back. Patty Wack had a bag. This sends a strong message. Don't even come up to me. Don't. You know, I'm spiritually powerful as well. I don't fuck around. She got some people sold this to me. Sold it to take a lot of shit. From what I understand, from what I learned in the spirit world, they're Mexicans. But that's why they're involved in dark shit and all of that. Their originators get creative gods. Excluding Quetzalcoatl. He's a reptilian. I call him the demon Caesar of Quetzalcoatl for a reason. They're all evil spirits. And I'm going to say something as well. And they uh, come from evil uh, spirits. They come from uh, Benares. Evil spirits from Benares. I did a spiritual experiment once. And I'm just going to say this. Many of them don't originate from the light. That's why they have a lot of low vibr vibratory behaviors. That's why you see them cartel beheadings be as extreme as they are. They're following their ancestors. You know, I got pictures online on my uh, channel that talks about that. With that being said, um, that's why a lot of them. I saw something attached to my back. I, I saw it. Um, so I'm trying to fuck with my consciousness. Like I said, I'm under heavy fucking entity attachment, roach attachment, oppression. And... From Alex not seeing me into and all that shit. But anyways, a lot of Mexicans know about that. They know about the road trail. Something that I hate to say it, a lot of our people, a lot of white folks and other folks are ignorant to. The road trail ain't nothing to play with. You know, the spiritually powerful people like myself, we have road trails to protect us. Baron Samity gave that to me at birth. And, um... No, I think it was my family. It was ancestral. Now, now I'm getting fucking attacked. I'm having shit removed from my fucking hair, my consciousness and all of that shit by this evil shit. Simply for telling the fucking spiritual truth. But anyways, they don't come from the light. A lot of them don't. Very few of them. And the very few who do, they'll get, they'll get it. They'll get it. You know, it's a spiritual aspect to it. It's not a physical. And I'm going to say this right now. You play 6,000 hertz frequency around them motherfuckers, they run for a reason. And 6,000 hertz frequency is um, a frequency that repels negative entities. I'm also say this right now. If you're having problems with Santa word, they use a topa. But that was created by the Mexican oversoul consciousness. And if you're having problems with her, use black tourmaline. I got black kyanite. Show it to you right now. Some motherfuckers tried to intimidate me from showing off my collection like I used to back in the day because they put roach attachments on me to try to control me and control what I say. And I don't like that shit. And I'm not going to have that shit. And I'm going to get my shit back from them. I'm going to talk about what's going on with me later on. But anyways, they don't like me teaching people. A lot of uh, the motherfuckers that put that shit on me, I got an Ingrid hybrid, were very, very jealous. And so they put that shit on me just like she, uh, one of them, uh, probably a Mexican, put it on this uh Mexican bra for her to be pregnant, they'll send orders and decrees, such as like what they did with me with tarot reading, because my shit was accurate, but I didn't get a lot of money. Wave of Light is very good for getting your money up, by the way. Um, with that being said, they'll send decrees to their roach attachments, like for instance, for one girl who I think was a Mexican, they say uh, one of them was jealous because she had perky breasts, just like I used to walk around topless. But they come in their fucking roach attachments and call me a big ugly motherfucker. I actually take pride in that. So I got cologne right here. Stetson. Anyways, proud to be a big ugly motherfucker. Anyways, with that being said, they'll send decrees like, in the case of me, we don't want you to use your spiritual powers. They've been stealing a lot of my spiritual powers and stuff, probably giving it to fucking, uh, Topus entity attachments. They're going to try to show you my spirit guy, but that's not the case. The chair face one. But, um, you know, I'm kind of wondering if that girl from Desterhand, Louisiana, might have. 
But then again, I've seen that. Could have been a taupe. But then again, I've seen that timeline. I know it's real. I felt it. With that being said, they will put roach attachments that send decrees. Like, for instance, the Ingrid Hyber wanted to make it where she sent a decree regarding this Mexican girl that just like I'm the one who starts top of shit in L.A., she was she caught a very, I'm guessing, voluptuous young lady walking around topless and decreed that she wanted her to walk around uh, pregnant. She wanted her to become pregnant at the age of 21, all out of jealousy for this young woman. Same, same reason why they came after fucking me. It, 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 you know, from what I understand, some wetbacks on the PCH actually put that shit on her and her out of jealousy, blame me for it. You know, I'm being told she was never a nurse, but then she was a nurse at one point and I actually saw in dreams that she was a nurse. They tried to make it out like it was my mother. My mother's a home health nurse, very beautiful lady. They energy harvested and took a lot of fucking physical attributes off of her, not physically, but in the spirit plane, in the astral. Just like they did with me. They'll remove, this is why I look different, astral body parts of yours and craft them unto other people or attach them to other people. That's what they were doing to Kanye West. And that's why Kanye West, um, you know, I'm just going to say it right now. Kanye West is not in his body. They had a group of people, a lot of Mexicans who I'm guessing did a spiritual rescue effort on him and rescued him from the hell realm that he was caught in. That the Illuminati placed him in. For the Illuminati, this is a frequency of God to defeat them, 1248 hertz frequency. I can't stand them motherfuckers in. Going into a lot of detail, I'm, I'm just going to say during the course of this curse, again, I'm a sound fucking schizophrenic. These motherfuckers wanted to set it up that I would become, I'm just going to say it right now, somebody that would really, really fuck up the world, and I don't want to do it. Hate to say a thing, beast of the book of, of uh, Revelations, and I ain't doing that shit. You know, I kept getting shit about becoming the Antichrist in uh, 2017, 2022 with this curse. Yeah, I'll show you. the timelines. I was shown alternate timelines and everything else. And they wanted to use my powers to bring that on. You know, being he Kate. But it's a long story and it would be a lot for me to explain. Now they're making me fucking intranquil and cutting me off. Um, like I say, the minute I speak a truth, they'll do something physically to me in the astral plane to fuck me up. Now with that being said, that's what's happening with me. Just like with Kanye West, I'm being energy harvested and all of my blessings are being funneled along with my physical attributes in the astral plane. That's why I look different. That's why my eyes look sunken in. Again, I don't do drugs and I don't drink. To this person in this timeline, who from what I understand, she was from Desterhan, Louisiana. She was a big old fat, she looked very... In the astral plane, she looks like this, but she was a big old fat white woman while she was alive.
Hampstead. I'm trying to think of her name. Um, Gidry, maybe. Could be a Gidry. I'm from Louisiana myself. New Orleans, to be exact. And... To make a long story short, they placed that poor man in hell realms with an agreement from the Kardashians. And I'm going to say this right now. You look at them bitches. What I've seen of the uh, Kardashians in the astral plane, those are some evil, malicious ass bitches that are extremely fucking superficial and shallow. Which kind of reminds me of how the entities I'm dealing with want me to be superficial and not spiritual and teach y'all spiritual truths, which I love teaching, like I did back in the day before this curse befell me. Um, they're highly superficial. And I keep hearing these entities say shit like, you don't deserve it because, you know, you, you didn't do, you know, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't like this. You would be you're too spiritual. How, how are you going to condemn somebody for being fucking spiritual? Like, how the fuck do you do that shit? Get the fuck away from me. To get minds. You know, the, the, the whole fucking, from what I'm understanding, the whole fucking blessings were meant to set me up to be a curse and a sacrifice, and it's involving Zeus. But anyways, they're very, very shallow. And I'm even questioning if Kylie, if that's really her. I had a spirit say to me that it's not, that it, it actually is her, but the eyes look too fucking different. And by the way, we're not black. We're, how about that? We're not black, nigga. We're Indian. Do you take back any of the anti-Semitic stuff you might have said? Black people can't be anti-Semitic. We are Jew. You understand what I'm saying? We are Jew. So, so, so cool, so cool out. Until you do your facts, until you really do the facts with the fake indoctrination that y'all pull into the schools and all that, you know what I'm saying? We're not following y'all rules. I mean, just like calling Death Con on Jews and that's sort of, like, do you take back any of that sort of more extreme stuff? You, you know said? what? For all the kids that love me, all the Jewish kids that love me, I'm sorry if y'all had to hear a grown up conversation with us screaming at each other. But we got to a point where something needed to happen, something needed to be said. Somebody need to say something. Now, if you're in an argument with somebody, you're not going to say everything the right way. But it got to a point where y'all ain't going to just keep running, start calling me bizarre and impressed for all these years. I got to a point, how many more times are you going to call me crazy? How many more times are you going to give me fake medication that makes me fat off of a, a misdiagnosis when I really have slight signs of autism from the car accident? But then y'all gave me, you say, whatever, just give them that bipolar medication. Y'all try to kill the superheroes. But we here, we alive. 